Hey, this is Nick Williams, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about writing Medicare Advantage for somebody that has VA benefits, but more importantly, should you write somebody that has VA benefits with a Medicare Advantage plan? And really, the question comes down to if, it's, if they have TRICARE for life, the answer is no. Undoubtedly, it's no. But VA benefits, you certainly can, and the plan that you typically want to go to is an MA only because it simply adds to their benefits. It doesn't take anything away from their benefits. And this is universal. Most every single uh, Medicare Advantage company representative that you speak to will support this, uh, this position. And as a matter of fact, uh, Humana for One has a program that's streamlined just for this. Uh, they push it extremely hard and it is, can be very beneficial for the veteran. Understand also that veterans have different levels of VA benefits. So if a veteran says they have VA benefits, they may have a little bit of benefit or a lot of benefit. And some of them will talk about having benefits that they can go outside of the VA and still utilize their benefits. No matter what level of benefit they have, no matter that they can go outside of the network or not, you want to give them this option of having the Medicare Advantage MA only so that they can utilize that network and those benefits because it will take nothing away from their VA benefits. Now, as far as the Medicare Advantage with the drug card attached to it, that's questionable. Some say that it's okay, some say not. I'm not going to suggest you mess with that without talking to your account executive with the, uh, with the respective uh, Medicare Advantage company that you're working with. So understand, first of all, that the Medicare Advantage will be beneficial to your, v your client that has VA benefits. Understand also that these individuals that have VA benefits, some of them will hate the VA and some of them will love the VA. And some of them won't want anything else just based on pure principle. But if you tell them and if you approach this properly they and they understand it, that it's just going to add to and not take away from their benefits, then they'll probably go along with you. Now, the... Of course, the, you have to have, be compliant in this whole situation. You can't just come out of nowhere with uh, Medicare Advantage. They have, to, they have to be inquisitive or inquire about this, uh, these, these benefits. So, also, to elaborate on the love-hate relationship with the VA benefits, there are some clients that have the VA benefits. They use it, but what they find is that it's just a nightmare. And this, I have found that it's, dependent upon the VA system that they're working in, the local office, is it any good or, or is it not? And a lot of, sometimes you'll find that a local VA office is pretty decent, but I have been with clients and I have been with clients when they've tried to call the VA and it's just impossible. You're, you're, it's easier to call Medicare, it's easier to call Social Security for a lot of people than it is to call the VA. Uh, I've had them where they just cannot get through. I've had them where they were, what has been told to them by the VA has been misrepresented. I've had them where they've gone outside of the VA because the VA said that they could and then incurred bills and could never get any redress to find out why they're getting bills when they told, were told they won't, will not get bills. So again, it's that love hate relationship and it's, but when it goes south, it's real bad with the VA. And also if somebody has VA, and let's say they have a back injury and their back is just killing them and they're going to the VA and this is what I'll tell my clients. If you have a, a say it's a shoulder or a back or, so they'll tell the, the veteran that we've done everything we can, there's no, nothing more we can do for your back except what we're doing. And in that case, wouldn't you like to go elsewhere to get another opinion? And that's really a big deal. And you'll find that happens with VA. Uh, you can find that happens with a health plan. But that you're, okay, another very important point is most of these Medicare Advantage plans, MA only, are zero premium. And if you'll look at the, the summary of benefits for a Medicare Advantage plan, you'll find that those plans are often significantly better than the Medicare Advantage with pres prescription drug benefits. So they just give you a higher level of benefit. 
and it can be it can be an absolutely fabulous addition to what the v, the veteran already has and i suggest that you put that in your portfolio of sales options so that you can bring that out when the when it's appropriate to do so let's see perhaps they won't use the benefit at all it, it doesn't cost them anything so it's kind of like nothing gained nothing lost so it, it's a it's just a positive for the veteran and I'll leave you with that. You have a wonderful day.